Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my early spring home tour. This will be done in two parts as always. Today's video is going to be the narrated walkthrough explaining where I got items from. And then the video I'm gonna be posting on Monday is going to be the silent walkthrough. So no matter your viewing preference, you can choose one or both of them to enjoy. So without wasting any time, let's head into my entryway space. Starting off in the entryway space, I kept the styling the same as I did for my early spring decorating video. The mirror was from Kirkland's and I did put European gold rub and buff on it to give it that more aged look and character. The chest is from Wayfair. The vase is my go-to one from Pottery Barn. It has really great texture on it and is just perfect all year round. The florals are from Michael's. I have four of them in this vase right now. The book boxes I DIY'd, I have a video sharing how I did it, so I'll have that linked down below. The bunny is a bookend that was from House and Home. I did find it on Amazon though, so I will be sure to have that linked as well. The magnifying glass was older from World Market. The picture frame easel stand was from Amazon. It's been sold out since I've shared it. In one of my most recent videos, I shared a two-pack of a different metal version that's really budget-friendly, so I will have that one below. And the picture frame was from Home Goods, and the candle is older from Anthropology. Moving into our living room space, the biggest change we've recently made is adding these curtains from Two Pages. They are so, so beautiful. They are a custom one, so no matter what size windows you have, they can make some that will fit your needs. I will be sure to let you guys know what specifications we have for ours in the video description. Our couches are older from Ikea. They are discontinued. However, Ikea came out with a really great similar option that I will share below as well. The faux fur throw was from Target this past winter. The floral pillow covers were from 23rd by Deanne, and they are sold out, unfortunately. I did find some similar options for the beige one that flips into the red side. So I will have those linked below as well. Our coffee table was a Facebook Marketplace find. Our rug is from Boutique Rugs and it's one of their washable ones, which is really great. The pedestal tray was an antique find as well as the candle holder. This glass metal box here was from Amazon. And the vase was older from Target with more of the magnolia flowers that we used in the entryway space just to tie the two of them in together. The book box was from House and Home some years ago now. And this vase down here was from Walmart. The coffee table books are from Amazon and the white handle jug was an antique find as well as this brass basket. I thought it was just such a fun little detail. The art are digital downloads. It's the easiest way to swap out art from season to season. And then the wood vase I have over here was another antique find as well as the brass rocking horse. 
And this black side table was from Target, as well as these stools here. And the throw blankets are from Walmart. And here is a closer look at the curtain color and texture. I feel like this is actually pulling up very accurately right now on the camera. They are so incredibly beautiful. We are so happy with the quality of them as well. We did get it with the privacy lining on it. You can opt to have it unlined as well. There are so many options, but these ones are really great. And the last touch in here I did not want to forget to mention is this beautiful wreath from Dawn at Hickory Lane Wreaths. It's a geranium and greenery one, and I just love how it has just the slightest floral aspect. It's a perfect introduction into the spring and summer months. Then before moving to the dining situation, this was another recent purchase we made. It is this beautiful 1800s secretary desk. It is in such good condition. We found this on Facebook Marketplace actually, and it is everything I could have hoped for it. So I just have our painting supplies and such on the bottom. And then that way I can do my work here on the secretary desk. It just opens up. We have some random stuff in there right now, but it keeps it nice and functional, but still low profile because we do walk through here to come into the house. So there is more than enough room to have this piece here, but it is so incredibly beautiful and the wood color is just gorgeous. So I did try to use as much of the same styling in that black cabinet that I previously had. These shelves are slightly shorter so some of the items don't fit as well like the horse pitcher frame just fits. So it does unlock to open but it is so so beautiful. I couldn't have asked for something better and we just love it.
Moving to our dining area, I kept this styling super simplistic. We very rarely actually sit here to eat, just when we have family visiting. So most of the time I don't leave any plates or anything on this table. I just leave napkins and chargers. So that way, if we do have people, we are ready to go, but I don't want dusty plates. The table runner is a cheesecloth that I got from Hobby Lobby and just layered it over itself a couple times to add some organic texture to the table, keep it simplistic and not heavy. The vase is from TJ Maxx. This is some real dried baby's breath. We have this antique mustard jar with some faux baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby by far has the best faux baby's breath that I have seen. Obviously having the two right next to each other, you can tell a slight difference, but they do a very good job with that. And the color of that ties into our striped napkins that are older from Hearth and Hand. The chargers I had gotten from Hobby Lobby years ago, and the drinkware is also older from Hobby Lobby. I have not seen it come back, unfortunately, but I will keep an eye out. And the gold candle holders are older from House and Home, but they are sold on Amazon as well. Moving into our kitchen, the vase on the island is from HomeSense. It's a dupe for the Anthropology Minka Pot. Then I have some lawn leaf eucalyptus stems from Kirkland's, and these wildflower ones are from Hobby Lobby. I did add one of the botanical prints from the Hearth and Hand line, and this is an older candle that I had from Target. The counter stools are from World Market. The cushions I actually just ordered on Amazon. They're a removable cover one, which is really great. So that way it's easier to clean it versus the ones I used to have. This is that large metal easel I was explaining in the entryway portion. This is part of the two pack. And this is the larger size of it, just so you guys can see what that looks like and it perfectly fits a cookbook closed and open. I have this longer burger basket I found antique shopping and the glass jars are from Target. The crock is an older planter from Target. This oil dispenser I recently picked up from World Market. We have our KitchenAid obviously. And this horse print was older from Studio McGee. I have rounded up some digital downloads. So if you have a frame you like, you can print out. There's actually one that's the exact print of that one. The round pedestal tray is an antique find. The handled vase is from Hobby Lobby. And for the arrangement, I just put in two of these small asparagus bushes. And then I actually cut up two of the same wildflower ones we used on the island to make smaller stems to create a smaller arrangement for that. And then the hanging basket is older from Target with another one of the eucalyptus stems from Kirkland's.
finishing up in the master bedroom today. I recently shared three different ways you could style your bedroom for the early spring season, and this was one of the versions that I shared. It's nice and neutral, but we still have the pop of spring with the snowball hydrangea stems. Those were from Hobby Lobby, as well as the twig and leaf stems that are with it. The bed frame I got from my grandparents, I don't know where they got it from, but you can always look on Facebook Marketplace or something to find a similar style wood bed frame. The art above it was from Kirkland's. It has been sold out for some time. It was also on Target at one point. I'll try to find something similar to share with you guys. The scalloped pillows are from home goods that I recently found. They come in a pack of two. This floral one is like a charcoal blue. That was from Home Goods last year. I have not seen it since I picked up that one, but that one is gorgeous. I love on our bed to layer in lots of texture. Given we're coming into the warmer months, I don't put the coverlet in between our duvet and sheets. I just have it on the end just to add some texture and coziness to it. The knit throw is from Casa Luna at Target. Our nightstands are older from World Market, but the knobs are from Hobby Lobby. They are super budget friendly. I also use those in our son's bedroom on his built-ins. The lamps are from Rugs USA. I did put European gold rub and buff on them because they came in a very copper color and I wanted gold. The mirrors are Hobby Lobby. The vase is from our house. It's a very affordable designer vase. It is still an investment, but in comparison to other ones that they and other designers have, this one is super affordable and I love it. The gold boxes are older from Target and the brass, sorry, cast iron horse was an antique find, but I did find an identical one on Amazon, so I'll be sure to link that. The dough bowl was an antique find as well, and we have some faux artichokes in there. Those were from House and Home. I found them on a couple of different sites as well, so I'll be sure to link those. And the latest addition that we have are these picture frames here. These I actually found on clearance at Home Goods. And I love how they have the oversized mat. I have a picture of Cass and I. This was one of my favorites. And then we also have one of our wedding photos on the side. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed getting to walk through our home and see how I styled it for the early spring season. I will be going back through all of these spaces and giving them a little bit more life for the actual spring season, so you don't want to miss out on that. 
On Monday, I will be sharing the silent walkthrough version, so that way it's just put to music and nice and relaxing for you guys to enjoy. As always, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.